Welcome to the video of Ort. Torah tells us of the very perplexing story of Korach's attempted rebellion against the leadership of Moshe and Aharon. And Rashi asks the following question. What exactly was going through Korach's mind that he could walk down such a foolish path to think that he could succeed against the leadership of Moshe and Aharon? He was no fool. He was a rather clever man. So what was going through his mind? Rashi says it was a mistake. It was a mistake based on a nevua, a vision, a prophetic vision that he had, where he saw that coming from his, uh, from his lineage in the future, his progeny would include the famed great Shmuel Hanavi, who, uh, who, the, who the Torah tells us, uh, Tehillim describes, Moshe v'yaron b'cho'anav u'shmuel b'kore shmo, that Shmuel is on par with the greatness of Moshe and Aaron. So Korach reasoned to himself, if this is the progeny that is coming for me, I am protected. I will succeed. I will not, uh, 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 I will not come through this uh, attempted initiative uh, with, any, uh, with anything negative redounding to me. I'm safe. And this is what was going, what was going through Korach's mind. But in fact, this really just kicks the question down the road a little bit. Because who cares that my progeny will include Shmuel Hanavi? In his own vision, he saw that Shmuel is as great as Moshe and Aaron, meaning that Moshe and Aaron are extraordinarily great. So why would Korach think that uh, he should uh, be able to succeed against Moshe and Aaron because of some progeny that is coming generations later? And I think the answer is embedded within the words of Rashi, what Rashi is getting at. Uh, on, a, on a deeper level. And that is that when it comes to our own self-interest and self-promotion, we are often blind uh, to, the, uh, to the corrupting influence of our self-interest on our assessment of ourselves and our decision-making. And we have to be skeptical about that, even if the information which we are basing our assessment on is a nevuah itself, a vision from Hashem. If God tells me you're going to be the leader of the Jewish people, that's one thing. But to base my assessment on an interpretation of a prophecy, even a prophecy is not good enough. Because when it comes to honor, to kavo, to self-promotion and self-aggrandizement, those uh, are too powerful a corrupting influence. And I have to be skeptical, consistently skeptical, about how it is influencing my own, uh, my own self-awareness and my own self-assessment. Too often in life, uh, we are skeptical about the motivations of others, and we are blind to the corrupting uh, influence of our own self-interest. This was Korach's tragic error. And uh, the message that we learn from Korach is to rather be more skeptical about our own self-assessment, and wherever possible, to give the benefit of the doubt to others. And thus, as opposed to Korach, bring shalom, peace, and hope to Klaus Israel. Good job.